In this video, I want to talk about the design of the code that I want to write in subsequent videos to solve this problem, to solve this equation for the friction factor using Newton's method. And I want to remind you first of what we have done so far. So we have written a MATLAB script. Um, to solve the problem, and that script defines the problem and then runs the MATLAB built-in function f0 in order to calculate the answer. Um, so what I want to do right now is replace f0 with a function that we write ourselves. Um, and, and so I, I think the important thing here is to recognize the difference between a script and a function. So what a MATLAB script is, is it's almost like just a record of commands that you want to put into the command window. And that would pretty much work the same if you just typed all those commands in yourself, except that would make it hard to debug and make changes um, so I certainly believe in writing scripts. But I think in order to make your code efficient and modular and well-designed, you have to use or you have to know when to use a function. So I would say that a function has a special property in that it has a well-defined input. So a script is just a series of commands. Um, Whereas a function is code that specifically says, I need this information, and I'm going to give you this type of output. In other words, if we want to write a function to do Newton's method, I probably need uh, a function to solve, a mathematical function to solve, defined as an anonymous function. I need some sort of initial guess. I need an error tolerance. And then I perform Newton's method, and then I output the answer, right? So um, the important thing here is that by having a clear link between input and output and very well-defined rules for what each function does, you've got to name them right, you've got to sort of label them so it's very clear what it does, um, you can do the work of your code in sort of little packages of codes, namely your functions. Um, so let's let's let me try to explain how that works. Um, so let's go back to the script first. So what did we do in the script? So we defined the Colebrook problem. In other words, we defined an anonymous function um, called to solve. And it was a function of a single variable. I think we called it x, but that variable corresponds to the friction factor. And the reason that is our goal is because when we have the right friction factor, that function to solve is going to equal 0. So the next thing we did after defining the problem is we made a guess. And part of what we did, so initially we made a guess using the Blasius formula, but we also visualized, right? Um, so we plotted the function to solve as a function of the friction factor so that we could read out on the plot approximately what would be a good guess. Um, and finally, we called f0. So notice that f0 is a function. It's a built-in function uh, for MATLAB. We didn't have to write it. And it's really the, the code that did the work, right? So the script defined the problem and made a nice plot, but it didn't actually calculate the solution, right? So what we are going to do right now is we are going to replace f0 with Newton's method,
because we want to do the work ourselves, right? In other words, we want our function um, to be the one that actually calculates the solution. So I'm going to put, I guess I should use this color orange to indicate what functions I have. So we have Newton's method. Okay, we're going to code Newton's method that is going to take as input a function to solve. an error tolerance, EA max, and a guess. It's going to perform iterations, and then it's going to output an answer. In other words, the root of the function. Okay, um, and we're going to need some components um, to some other functions uh, for this problem. So one of them we've already defined, that's the Reynolds number function. So that took the density, the velocity, the diameter, and the viscosity, and it calculated a quantity that actually came into the definition of the problem, right? So the Colbrick equation involves the Reynolds number. And um, then we're also going to write a function called approximate error. Um, don't worry about what this means, open method. So Newton's method is an open method. And this goes into the Newton's method function. So this is the function that Newton's method will call when it's deciding when to stop. Um, and there's one other thing I'm going to add, and this is the function function derivative. So you may recall that Newton's method requires knowledge of a function's derivative. So I'm going to show you how to use MATLAB's built-in uh, symbolic functionality in order to actually calculate an anonymous, or sorry, the, the first derivative for an anonymous function of one, uh, of one variable. So in other words, we're going to take the function we defined to correspond to the Colebrook problem, we're going to feed it into function derivative 1d, and um, in fact, we're going to feed this problem into Newton's method. And, uh, and then Newton's method is going to use function derivative 1D to calculate the derivative of that function. Um, so I'm going to um, break this into pieces. I'll probably make a separate video on how to calculate a symbolic first derivative. And, uh, and we're going to switch to the computer and actually write the program to calculate the solution to this problem ourselves.